Hi there, in this video, I want to give you a quick demonstration of a new tool that I discovered that works great together with High Level. It allows you to put countdown timers on your sales pages, which High Level already does, but it also allows you to put them inside your emails and to have those synced up. So this is great to use for uh, sales funnels, obviously, um, for evergreen sales funnels, for live launches, but also, for example, for a tripwire offer, which is the offer you present people with after they opt into your freebie. So they opt in, they get to the thank you page, and rather than simply directing them to their inbox to go check and find your free PDF, you are now offering them your course at a discounted price, but only for a limited amount of time, let's say for 30 minutes. So within the 30 minutes, they have the opportunity to purchase. And after the 30 minutes, the page directs, redirects to another page and the opportunity for them to purchase that offer at the discounted price is over. There's no way for them to get back to that offer at the discounted price. So the urgency that you are creating for them is actually real. Generally for this, people use Deadline Funnel and Deadline Funnel is an amazing tool and I really love it, but it is pretty expensive. It starts at $49 a month and allows you three timers and up to a thousand people going through it. Now, this new deal that I found offers you a lifetime deal for just $67 and it allows you five timers and up to 2000 people to go through it. Then there is a pro version for another $97 at a lifetime deal as well that allows you unlimited timers and unlimited people going through it. And what's really interesting is that they offer an agency plan for, I believe, another $197, which then allows you to have all your clients use this on their accounts as well. So that is really great. And also the pro version. So you have like the basic, then the pro, and then the agency. The pro also allows you more design um, options on the timers themselves. So in this video, the demo that I want to do is about a tripwire funnel. So this is where someone opts in for your freebie and then is presented with a discounted offer on the thank you page. So for that, what we need is an opt-in form and that goes on an opt-in page, your discounted offer, a sales page to take them to that offer, an order confirmation page for when they indeed purchase, a timer expired page. So that would be after the 30 minutes, for example, has expired, they're being taken to that page. And on that page, you could basically either just, you know, tell them to go check their inbox, or you could, you know, offer the same offer, but now at a higher price, that's totally up to you. And then this is a tool that I'm using. It's called Countdown Hero. And you can find my affiliate link around this uh, video and in the description. I'd very much appreciate it if you'd use that. Um, and then also we need an automated email delivering the freebie. Um, and we are then going to put the timer inside that email as well as that for that extra visual reminder that they have limited amount of time to actually go purchase this offer. So let's head on over. Um, I'm demonstrating this inside... Um, a white label version of high level and basically what i did first is that i set up a product here for 27 so that would be the discounted price and then the different pages that we have here is the freebie opt-in the tripwire sales page the order form the order confirmation page and the deadline expired thank you page so on the freebie opt-in page i totally did not design this as i basically just want to focus on the technical setup here on here, I uh, put a form. So I also created a form first here uh, in the builder, uh, just a very simple form with a first name and email field. And let's head back to the funnel. That form now lives on this page right here. So if we look at it here, you simply see the form. And obviously this page needs, des needs design and all that, but that's not what this video is about. So first name and email, they opt in and they get to this page right here. And on this page, there is a timer and I'm currently in test mode and here they can buy now. And if their timer expires, they're being taken to this other page here, the deadline expired page. And like I said on here, you can simply either send them to their inbox or buy now, but at the higher price. And then, you know, you'd send them to another order form. Okay. So that would require an extra step in your funnel if that's what you wanted to do. Um, then here is the order form with the product that I set up under um, payments and then products. And the order confirmation is what they would see after they actually indeed made the purchase. Now, the other thing that we need is an automation. And uh, let's look at the one we have here. 
of course you need an automation for the purchase as well but this is just for the email with the freebie right so they submit this particular form and then they receive the email with the link to their freebie so that information would go in here and now i just want to show you real quick what it looks like in the tool so Here's Countdown Hero. Uh, you can actually connect it to different email providers on the basic plan, just to one. And in this case, um, high level is not one of them. So now you're basically connecting to none, um, but you still have to sort of set that up. I named it Tripwire Offer. You can give it a label basically to categorize the different um, uh, options that you have, like the different timers. If you have many over time, that can be very helpful. And then here we can choose from three different um, countdown options. So for example, a fixed date and time uh, for a live launch. But in this case, I'm choosing in X hours and minutes. So in this case, I'm choosing to delay 30 minutes. And then here we put the URL of the active sales page. So if we head back over to the funnel, that would be the tripwire sales page URL. So that's what goes here. And then here we put the expired page. So that's the URL of this particular page right here. And then you can also set a place where people would go if the system does not have like a setup for this particular person visiting the page. And in this case, I'm also just putting them on the same page, but you can also uh, put something else right here. Then it's really important whilst you're setting it up to just keep it in test mode so as to not lock yourself out of your page. But if that ever happens, you can simply come in here and uh, turn the test mode back on. Now here, you'll see there is uh, the timer and here you can change the styling. So there's different options you can choose, um, inline, full width, top, etc. Uh, the alignment, corners, um, you can put a banner text. So that would be here, banner text. And you can do a button like a buy now button. There's all kinds of options. And if you purchase a pro plan, you have even more uh, design options. Then what's really cool as well is that you have a separate design option for email. But if you want to, you know, if you style this one and you want to copy the styling over to the email, instead of having to redo that manually, you can simply click on this to apply the style to the email timer or the other way around. And then you take this code. So the code here, is actually added on the tripwire sales page um, and the code that we have here is going to go inside the email so now if we head on over back to the automation inside this email i need to paste that link okay but what you'll see here is it has square brackets for email and we actually need to use the short code that um, high level uses for that so we're going to go custom values contact email and take this delete that and put that here so we we replace this so square bracket email square bracket we replace that with this right here okay now we copy this whole thing and delete it and we choose this option to go to the source code and paste that in here and now you'll see the timer it currently shows zero minutes but as soon as someone opts in it starts their unique timer so that's what's great about this is that the timer doesn't have to be the same for everyone, what you would have during a live launch where it is, you know everyone has the same deadline. But in this case, people would have their own unique deadline depending on the time they opt in. So um, then what's really important is that you set the opt-in page. Um, sorry, here in the funnel. Make sure that the freebie opt-in page doesn't redirect to the next step. What you would normally do, you would either send it to the URL of the Tripwire sales page or you would set it to next step, right? As the redirect for the form submission. But right now we need to do something else and it actually needs to go to this URL right here. And you can again see the square bracket. So we're copying that over. And now for the form action here, you can see that already I put that in here. Um, we paste that in and again, we replace that square bracket email square bracket with curly bracket, curly bracket, contact dot email, curly bracket, curly bracket, so that as soon as they submit the form, they're being taken to this URL, which then shows the sales page, but then it is connected to the system, right? And that's important because we need to have people in the system so that it can track and actually have a real deadline that really expires for them after their unique timer is over. So 
that's basically the setup. And if you have any questions around this, feel free to ask me. This is just the setup for a tripwire offer. But as I said, you can use it for evergreen launches. You can use it for um, for live launches. And I know there is tools that can do like timers inside emails, but it's never like linked to what you can put on the sales page unless you have deadline funnel, which is then like very expensive. And um, in this situation, if you go for like the basic plus the pro version, for example, for less than five months of deadline funnel, you have like unlimited everything. Um, and then if you use the agency plan, you can connect to however many like email providers, you can connect to multiple email providers if you want to um, and use it for your clients. So I think if you're using high level as a SaaS, that is a really great option as well. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.